Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are going to do IXL N2 which is just classifying different quadrilaterals. So the entire IXL is pretty much the same. They're going to give you a quadrilateral in front of you and you have to identify which one it is and they'll give you a few choices. Um, most of them are going to be choose all that apply because just because a quadrilateral is classified as one thing doesn't mean it cannot be classified as another. So uh, first things first we have this shape and we'll go through each option here and talk about why or why not they correlate. So a rhombus is a shape that has four equal sides and that's all there is to it. Uh, that's the only requirement. So it can be kind of a diamond shape or it can be a square or something. Um, as long as they have four equal sides, it's going to be a rhombus. So here we see there is no indication that has four equal sides. I mean, two of, the, uh, two of the pairs might have equal sides, but not all four of them, so definitely not. A rectangle. A rectangle uh, is a quadrilateral that has four sides that each side, uh, each angle in that shape uh, is a 90 degree angle. And then the uh, opposite sides are going to have the same length as well. So that's not going to be the case because we do not have four uh, right angles in here. Is it a square? Well, a square is a stricter form of a rectangle. Uh, a square needs all four 90 degree angles or right angles. Uh, and it also needs all four equal sides, which this clearly does not. And lastly, a parallelogram is a four sided shape uh, that has two pairs of parallel lines. So this line and this line, the opposite lines are parallel and it, the little uh, arrow indicates that. And then these two sides as well, the matching double arrows are also parallel. Uh, you can't put a single arrow for all four of them because that would indicate that all four of them are parallel to one another. So you have to go one and one, two and two. Um, so that is definitely a parallelogram. Okay, here we have a rhombus. Um, and we know it's a rhombus because all four sides are equal. All four have the same single tick mark, meaning uh, it is indeed a rhombus. It does not matter that the angles here are different. So it is a rhombus. Is it a parallelogram? Are these two sides parallel? And then are these two sides parallel? Yes, they are. So parallelogram. A rectangle? No, does not have 90 degree angles. Is it a square? No, even though they have the same length for all the sides, there are not any uh, 90 degree angles between the sides there, so no. Okay, uh, basic square right here. It has all equal sides, as you can see with the tick marks, and then all four angles are 90 degrees. So is it a rhombus? Is it a shape that has four equal sides? It is. Is it a parallelogram? Are the opposite sides all parallel? Yes, because parallel, parallel, and then parallel, parallel. Is it a rectangle? The only definition you need for a rectangle, really, is it has uh, four sides and four 90 degree angles and the sides uh, and the um, opposite sides are going to be equal as well. So is that the case? Well, yes. So a square is a uh, stricter version of a rectangle. A square is a rectangle except uh, all four sides are equal. So a rectangle it is. Again, the uh, sides do not have to be different. They can all be the same like this and it's still classified as a rectangle. So is it a square? Yes, it is. It has all 90 degree angles and all the sides are the same, so it's everything. Okay, shape right here, is it a parallelogram? Are the opposite sides parallel? Parallel, yes. Is it a square? No, because not all the sides are the same. Is it a rectangle? Uh, yes, 90 degree angles and the uh, sides are gonna be the same. Is it a rhombus? Are all the sides equal? No. Uh, which terms describe the shape? Is it a square? No. Rectangle? No. Parallelogram? Yes opposites and opposites are parallel. Is it a rhombus? No, because not all four sides are equal. Okay, is this a kite? A kite is kind of like a diamond, um, except two of the sides are going to uh, be touching. They're gonna to be adjacent. They're gonna to be together and equal. And then the other two sides are gonna be touching or adjacent and uh, equal as well, uh, which is not the case for this. And we'll probably get to an example of one of those later. Is it a square? Clearly not. Rectangle? Clearly not. Isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles just means it has two equal sides. So tick mark, tick mark. These two sides are equal. So it's an isosceles shape and a trapezoid is a shape uh, that you learned last uh, IXL with N1 that um, has four sides. It's a quadrilateral and two of the opposite sides are going to be 
uh, parallel. So this one and this one are parallel. So that's going to be an isosceles trapezoid. Okay. Rhombus, all four sides, no. Kite, no. Parallelogram, no. Quadrilateral, yeah. Quadrilateral, again, is just a shape with four sides. So that's all it's going to be there. Okay. Uh, is it a rhombus? Yes. Parallelogram, yes. Rectangle, no. Isosceles trapezoid, no. And square, yes. I mean, no. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Yes, as in it's uh, correct that it's not, I guess. Um, okay, is it a rhombus? No. Kite. Ooh, okay. This would be a good example of a kite. So this is what I was talking about. We have two sets of equal sides. So we have this side and this side that are congruent, right? Take a mark. And they're adjacent. They're together. And then we have two other sides that are congruent, that are the same. And they are also adjacent. They are together, right? So we have same and then these two are the same they're all together so this would be an example of a kite right is it a quadrilateral does it have four sides yes is it an isosceles trapezoid uh, no it is not okay and then that's the highest it'll let me jump but we've already done this one anyway so that's going to be it i'm going to end the video here take care and goodbye